11. Julia Regine Moorhead In October of 2023, police were called to the Ben Hotel in West Palm Beach, Florida to remove a trespasser. According to employees, 36-year-old Julia Regine Moorhead was refusing to leave the lobby and kept trying to go upstairs. She claimed that she was trying to get to the room she and her boyfriend were sharing, but the staff didn't want her there because she was allegedly acting drunk and abusive, and she made it easy for the police to believe these claims. Instead of cooperating with the officers, Moorhead berated them and acted completely uncooperative. At one point during the incident, she laid down on the pavement and refused to move. She was also accused of hitting a woman, at which point an officer arrested her. Moorhead only continued to dig herself a deeper hole as she threw a screaming tantrum on the floor while being taken into custody. She was charged with trespassing, disorderly intoxication, and resisting an officer with violence. 10. Thomas Elliott a keen-eyed Target customer became so concerned with the behavior of 21-year-old Thomas Ryan Elliott during a shopping trip in April 2024 that she secretly recorded him with her phone as he followed a woman around the Greensville, North Carolina store. She captured footage of the suspect filming an upskirt video of his unsuspecting Target, and the police were notified with enough time to get to the store while Elliott was still there. To make matters even more disturbing, Elliot was reportedly employed as a volunteer at a public school at the time of his arrest. Needless to say, he was let go from the position and booked into custody on suspicion of felony secret peeping. He posted a $5,000 bond and was released while the investigation into his alleged crimes continued. Elliot denied any wrongdoing, but investigators nevertheless obtained a warrant to search his phone they discovered additional disturbing content, including photos of another woman that police believe were taken without her consent at a church in Winterville where Elliot worked. He was charged with an additional felony count of secret peeping and was promptly fired from his church job. The outcome of the case remains to be seen. 9. Wiley James Weeks Late one night in April 2024, Police in St. Petersburg, Florida discovered a naked man sitting inside a garbage can on a public sidewalk. Identified by law enforcement as 35-year-old Wiley James Weeks, the unclothed suspect allegedly reeked of alcohol and was unsteady on his feet. According to an arrest affidavit, Weeks accused officers of unlawfully arresting him as they took him into custody for disorderly intoxication. The report states that the defendant believed that he was allowed to be drunk and disorderly and sit naked in a trash can on the public sidewalk. Weeks also allegedly refused to give police his name, stating he was under no obligation to provide his identity or demographics. In addition to the disorderly intoxication charge, the suspect was charged with resisting an officer without violence. He also had a lengthy list of prior misdemeanors, which includes convictions for theft, disorderly conduct, criminal mischief, panhandling, and other crimes. Weeks pleaded guilty to both counts two days after his arrest and was fined $520. In addition to having an extensive criminal history, this wasn't his first time getting arrested for being naked in public. During a prior incident, Weeks and a friend were found unclothed on a public street after leaving a bar in Tampa. The pair allegedly told police that they thought it would be funny to disrobe. In his more recent case involving the garbage can, Weeks pleaded guilty to both counts two days after his arrest and was fined $520. 8. Sherry Cotton Early one morning in February 2024, police in Fredericksburg, Virginia received a report about a suspected drunk driver. The first officer to arrive on scene spotted an idling Buick with a flat tire. He tried persuading the woman behind the wheel to exit the car, but she allegedly ignored him and then reversed out of her parking spot. As the suspect tried to flee, she rammed her vehicle through the entrance gate of an apartment complex and a nearby fence. She then struck a transformer box head on, causing an hours-long power outage that left half the apartment complex without electricity. Instead of cooperating with the pursuing officer's commands, the woman attempted to flee on foot, but she didn't get far before the officer caught up with her and took her into custody. Identified by police as 38-year-old Sherry Cotton, she was charged with driving under the influence, refusal to take a breath-slash-blood test, two counts of obstruction of justice, two counts of destruction of property, felony eluding, hit-and-run, and reckless driving on private property. 
7. Virginia Rose Jones When a loss prevention employee noticed a woman shoplifting men's clothing at a Walmart store in Deltona, Florida in January of 2013, he confronted the accused thief. Later identified by police as 27-year-old Virginia Rose Jones, the woman allegedly punched the loss prevention worker in the face, kicked him in the groin, and attempted to flee the scene on foot. Volusia County deputies soon caught up with Jones, who attempted to flee the scene but tripped and fell, enabling law enforcement to catch up with her and place her in handcuffs. When asked for her identity, the young woman provided her sister's name. Her cover was blown when a Walmart employee recognized her and told deputies who she really was. According to police, Jones threatened to return to the store for revenge while wearing a mask and all-black clothing. She was charged with robbery, petty theft, and resisting without violence. 6. Joseph Allen Not everyone gets into the holiday spirit, and 46-year-old Joseph Allen of Largo, Florida was definitely a member of the non-festive crowd. In late December 2016, the convicted felon was accused of entering a McDonald's restaurant and angrily yelling at employees and customers to turn off the Christian music that was playing inside the business. According to a police report, Allen demanded that the restaurant play Hindu and Muslim music instead. It would have been a fair request if he was serious about it and if perhaps had asked in a more composed fashion. But Allen was allegedly acting intoxicated and aggressive, causing those around him to fear for their safety. Police were called to the scene and reportedly found a bag of methamphetamine in the suspect's pants, which would perhaps explain his erratic behavior. Allen was charged with disorderly conduct and drug possession, adding to a lengthy rap sheet consisting of previous arrests for assault, grand theft, battery, disorderly intoxication, lewd and lascivious behavior, criminal mischief, and more. 5. Anne Christine Wazel Starting at some point in 2023, a 46-year-old Georgia woman named Anne Christine Wazel allegedly tormented her neighbors in the city of Rome by setting her car alarm off at all hours of the day and night. Naturally, people complained, and they grew increasingly frustrated as the disruptive antics dragged on. After months of dealing with the incessant noise, community members were beyond fed up. The police finally arrested Wozel on a noise violation, but she didn't go into custody willingly. According to law enforcement, the accused nightmare neighbor refused to speak with responding officers and became combative. She was also accused of trying to run from the police when they informed her that she was being arrested. When officers caught up with Wozel, she allegedly refused to put her hands behind her back. The police ended up having to call for backup before they finally got the situation under control. In addition to the noise violation, Walzer was charged with two counts of obstruction. The circumstances surrounding her ongoing dispute with her neighbors are unclear, but she seemed pleased enough with her behavior to grin for her mugshot. 4. LaShonda Angeline Johnson In a shocking video that appeared on Reddit in January 2024, a Missouri woman could be seen ransacking a convenience store in a fit of rage, causing over $30,000 in damages. 31-year-old LaShonda Angeline Johnson had already been banned from the property in Columbia months earlier for trespassing when she allegedly decided to return there anyway. In the moments leading up to Johnson's tirade, she accused employees of bothering her and appeared to steal two packs of cigarettes. She then proceeded to lay siege to the store, destroying $3,000 worth of liquor and causing $1,500 worth of damage to a cash register. Johnson was also accused of damaging two beverage machines worth $20,000. In the footage, an employee could be heard telling Johnson to stop after she destroyed the drink machines. But the tirade continued as she threw food items and other objects onto the floor. In addition to ruining merchandise, Johnson allegedly damaged two of the building's windows. When the rampage finally ended, the employees told Johnson to leave the store. She left the car and the workers called the police with a description of the vehicle and license plate. In the meantime, her witness followed Johnson's vehicle and also called 911 to provide updates on the suspect's location. According to news reports, Johnson told police that she ransacked the store because she felt harassed by an employee and thought the worker was taking photos of her. She was charged with first-degree property damage, first-degree trespassing, and misdemeanor stealing. As of May of 2024, she remains behind bars at the Boone County Jail, 
while awaiting the outcome of her case. 3. Nuri Staten Over a several month period starting in April of 2023, 19 year old Nuri Staten of High Point, North Carolina was arrested at least eight times for a variety of disturbing crimes. His crimes include indecent exposure, trespassing, secret peeping, battery and resisting, delaying or obstructing an officer. He's been accused of catcalling, stalking and groping women, acting strange near the bathrooms at a Waffle House restaurant, spying on women in public restrooms and exposing himself. On at least one occasion, Staten allegedly trespassed onto one of the 13 properties he'd been banned from due to his behavior and one of his indecent exposure arrests occurred when he was out on bond for a previous crime of a similar nature. Due to his ongoing problematic behavior, the accused creep was held in jail in lieu of a $50,000 bail following an arrest in July of 2023. Staten's mother and defense attorney both pleaded with the judge to lower the bail amount, arguing that the repeat offender needed mental help that he wouldn't have access to in jail. But the judge did the exact opposite and raised Staten's bail to $75,000 because he was tired of history repeating itself, stating in his own words, enough is enough. Staten's mother continued urging the court to institutionalize her son, saying that she was powerless to force him to get help since he's an adult and she therefore didn't have legal guardianship over him. By then, she had filed to start guardianship proceedings and had been granted an upcoming court date. Records show that Staten is no longer in county jail and he's not serving time in state prison, indicating that he may be getting the help that his mother believes he so desperately needs. 2. Coty Clements In January 2024, 911 dispatchers in Charlotte County, Florida received an emergency call from a man claiming that there was a bomb at a Walmart store in Port Charlotte. The police went to the store, where the owner of the cell phone that the call had come from explained that he'd left the device in the bathroom prior to the call being made. Surveillance footage showed that he was telling the truth and that only one person was in the bathroom at the time of the call. That individual was identified as 28-year-old Cody Clements, who reportedly lived just a handful of miles away from the store. During questioning, Clements allegedly admitted to making the threatening call after finding the stranger's phone in the bathroom. According to police, he said that he'd seen people doing a similar prank on TikTok and decided to try it himself. An arrest report noted that Clemens regretted his actions and realized he'd made a bad decision. He was charged with one felony count of making a false report about planting a bomb or weapon of mass destruction and was released from the local jail on $15,000 bond. Newspaper reports about Cody's arrest stood in stark contrast to an article from less than four years earlier when he was featured in Fox 8's High Lighting Hero section for being a long-haul trunk driver who helps others pursue careers in his line of work. And now for number one. But if you want to hear more bizarre and crazy stories, stay tuned after the video for some more content. 1. Gold Digger Reveals True Intentions in late 2023, 29-year-old Kendra Roxbury of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania matched with a charming man named Josh on Tinder. The two began seeing each other and it seemed like things were only getting better with time. A few months into the relationship, Josh asked Kendra out to a nice dinner. He told her money was no object and not to worry about the bill, so Kendra took him at his word and chose a nice seafood restaurant. The mother of two was shocked to receive a text message from Josh about a week later asking her to pay his nearly $400 electric bill. More specifically, Josh asked Kendra if she could foot the bill so that he could get his lights turned back on, adding that he didn't think it would be an issue since he'd paid for her expensive dinner the week before. The situation understandably left Kendra feeling duped. She wasn't dating Josh for money and was happy to foot a dinner tab herself from time to time. But by taking her out for a pricey meal, Josh had given off the impression that his finances were in order, only to reveal based on the amount of his electric bill that both his finances and his priorities were completely out of whack. Simply put, Kendra felt blindsided by the request, especially since up until that point, she felt like she and Josh had potential for a serious relationship. Instead of showing her frustration or stooping to a similarly childish level, she kept things short and simple, responding, lol, really? I'm not sure this is going to work out. Good luck. 10. Throwing a Puppy 
A white woman in California was busted racially abusing a man and then throwing a puppy at him. As if hurling racial insults at somebody isn't horrific enough, the young Karen went ahead and abused an animal as well, using a living puppy as a weapon. The video was recorded in 2020, showing the irate woman losing her mind at a local California rapper named Gomula. It's not clear exactly what started the bizarre interaction. When he started recording, the woman was walking towards him through the middle of the street as he had simply been trying to get back into his car. She yelled at him, You're black, for seemingly no reason. And that was when everything spiraled out of control. The two got into an argument, the rapper became concerned that she was holding the puppy in a really unsafe way, and then she kicked him and tossed the dog in his face. It was incredibly bizarre, and the woman didn't really appear to know what was happening or even where she was. And just as quickly as she had attacked a random man unprovoked, she ran off down the street. Her face is all over the internet and she's probably lost all her friends, while Gomula got himself a cute new puppy. So in the end, it all really worked out. 9. Jennifer Couture Jennifer Couture is the insane Florida woman who went viral in early 2022 when she tried to run somebody over with her car outside a Dunkin' Donuts. The video was first shared on TikTok, with Jennifer, a blonde white woman who may or may not have fake eyebrows and fake lips, clearly seen exiting her black Mercedes and then attacking the unidentified person filming. Jennifer can be heard telling the person to relax, to chill out with their attitude, and then she tried to snatch the phone from the other woman's hand. The victim screamed out, Ah, you just assaulted me! And then Jennifer mocks the woman and returns to her Mercedes SUV. But this wasn't the end of the interaction. Jennifer then tried to back her SUV over the woman who was filming her. Her attempt failed, but she still tried to run a stranger over. She has since been charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Two counts because after she failed the first time to run the woman over, she tried again. As for why Jennifer turned full Karen, we don't know all the details. It seems to have been over some frivolous disagreement in the parking lot of the donut shop. 8. Hot Soup on November 7, 2021, Amanda Martinez threw hot soup in the face of a manager at a restaurant. She did it because she was angry that her plastic lid had melted. Amanda was so furious about the poor quality of her lid that she tried to scald somebody's face off. The disturbing moment was caught on surveillance footage inside the Sol de Jalisco restaurant in Temple, Texas. Amanda demanded to speak with the manager, a typical Karen move. Then when manager Janelle Brolin tried to de-escalate the situation, Amanda tried her hardest to keep it escalating. After a whole lot of yelling, Amanda threw the steaming hot soup directly in the 24-year-old manager's face. Keep in mind, this was soup so hot it melted the plastic lid of the container. It wasn't just hot enough to burn your lips, it would have burned your whole tongue off. The manager described the feeling of the soup hitting her in the face like taking a full stream of pepper spray straight to the eyes. It was so hot that her eyes burned and she got an instant nosebleed. By the time the police arrived, Amanda was long gone. But just days later, an arrest warrant was issued and she was booked into the Bell County Jail. If found guilty on the charge of assault, Amanda will be looking at around one year in jail and $4,000 in fine. 7. Taser Karen Just before the end of 2020, a white woman did something so outrageous, she earned herself the Karen of the Year Award. It happened in California and involved an old woman, a taser, and a poodle. The incident was recorded by Discovery Bay woman Jerry L's security cameras and on her cell phone. You see the old woman walked up to the front door of Jeriel's house with a taser in her hand. When Jeriel's brother opened the door to see what she wanted, the woman immediately lashed out. She claimed that their pit bull had attacked her dog and then proceeded to berate them for being black. This woman literally said, you're a black person in a white neighborhood. 
and you're really acting like one. Why don't you act like a white person if you're going to live in a white neighborhood? It was pretty terrible, but it got worse. The family asked if she would please leave and she refused. She insisted that the family dog had attacked her dog, even though her dog was perfectly fine. Then she started rambling about the, her top secret clearance level and informing the family that they're all going to hell. She did eventually leave, but the whole thing left Jerry Al and her family shaken and feeling unwanted in a neighborhood where they had been living for the last 10 years. Six. Home Depot Karen Terry Lynn Wright was arrested for the second time in six days when she trespassed at a Texas Home Depot and refused to wear her mask in 2021. The incident at the Home Depot happened less than a week after the incident that originally shot her to fame at a Bank of America in Galveston on March 11. The 65-year-old white woman apparently didn't learn much from the first incident in which she got kicked out of the bank for being maskless. She tried to walk into the Home Depot also without putting on a mask, and when employees asked her to leave, she refused. At about this time in the pandemic, store employees were pretty much done dealing with Karens. They phoned the police right away and let them deal with the situation. The cops told Terry that she would go to jail for trespassing if she didn't leave immediately, to which Terry replied that she was well within her federal rights and that the police officer was actually in violation of the law. It was about that time Terry was put into the handcuffs and put into a patrol car. It was as she was being put into the car that the officer can be heard on his body cam saying, Oh, you're the lady who was causing issues in Galveston the other day. She replied with, No, I was the lady the other day following my rights. At the end of the day, this Karen didn't do much to get her into trouble. We didn't hear about any other incidents, so she hopefully learned her lesson after two strikes. 5. Amy Cooper Amy Cooper is the white woman who called the police when she came across a bird watcher in the park who happened to have black skin. She was walking through Central Park in New York on Memorial Day 2020. She was in a wooded area of the park where dogs are required to be leashed. Amy Cooper did not have a dog on its leash and Christian Cooper, the name's totally coincidental, asked if she could please leash her animal. It wasn't an outrageous request. Nonetheless, Amy flipped out. She ordered Christian to stop recording her as he pulled his phone out to document the interaction. She also threatened to call the cops, then really did call them and proceeded to lie to the authorities on camera. She said to the cops that there was an African-American man with a bicycle helmet who was threatening her and her dog. Then, for absolutely no reason, Amy began to scream into her phone as if she was about to be kidnapped. She went off like a crazy person, screeching to send the cops immediately because she was in mortal danger. It was all quite strange and a huge overreaction, and Amy's life took a pretty hard downward turn afterward. In an interview with CNN, Amy tried to defend her actions by saying she wasn't a racist, but the damage was already done. After the video surfaced online, she was fired from her job at her investment firm. 4. Hate Crime Karen At a protest taking place at the Hartford Capitol building back in 2021, Yulia Gilstein, a 45-year-old white woman, spat on a black female activist. As you can imagine, the activist was pretty upset. The whole incident was caught on video, with Yulia heard screaming, All Lives Matter! just before she hawked a loogie at Karen Prescott, the founder of Power Up Manchester. Police arrested the older woman almost immediately and she was promptly charged with breach of the peace. But that wouldn't be the end of her story. Spitting on a black woman at a protest got her charges upgraded to a hate crime, as well as to third-degree attempt to commit assault. Not wanting to go to jail, Yulia made a dramatic apology at her court hearing and called her actions completely out of character. In other words, the same defense every Karen in the history of Karens has ever given. But what upset her victim even more than the act itself was the fact that Yulia didn't get much more than a slap on the wrist. She was ordered to complete 100 hours of anti-hate education over two years and then let go. 3. White Woman with a Gun 
The employee of a Mississippi campground was fired from her job at the beginning of summer of 2019 for pulling out a gun on a couple who were trying to have a picnic. The woman with the gun happened to be white, while the couple happened to be black. The woman's name is Ruby Nellie Howell, and she was 70 years old at the time of her bizarre public freakout. It happened on May 26, and the whole thing was caught on video. Ruby approached Franklin and Jessica Richardson, who were looking for a nice picnic spot and perhaps a cabin on the edge of Octabea County Lake. They look like a totally ordinary couple, just out and about with their family dog. Yet Ruby marched straight up to them with a handgun in her fist and told them to leave immediately. She said they didn't have a reservation, even though she never asked about a reservation. She couldn't possibly have known their situation. She simply saw a black couple and decided to pull out a gun and chase them off the property. Thankfully, Ruby was caught in the act, and considering she'd been working at the campground for quite some time, this probably wasn't the first time something like this had happened. It just so happened to be the first time somebody captured it on video. Ruby was fired the second that video went public and was arrested by the Octabea County Sheriff's Office and charged with threatening exhibition of a weapon. But as you can probably guess, she was released on a bond of only $500 and let go the same day. 2. The Spirit Airlines Karen on September 11, 2021, a white woman decided to commemorate the anniversary of the terror attacks in New York City by being racist on an airplane. The victim of this particular Karen has been identified as Acha Torre, a woman who happens to be both black and Muslim. Acha claims that while on a Spirit Airlines flight, which just landed in Detroit, the Karen singled her out and launched a rather aggressive verbal assault. It all started after an older woman dropped her luggage and it accidentally hit the Karen. This caused her to fly off the handle, first screaming at the older woman who had dropped her luggage, a woman who was old enough to be her mother, before lashing out at Acha Torre. She screamed totally unprovoked at Acha to mind her own business and also called her a Muslim terrorist. She worked herself up into such a frenzy that she physically attacked Acha, despite a number of passengers filming her with their phones. The police came and took the Karen off the airplane and charged her with assault and disorderly conduct. But that's not enough for Acha. According to the Detroit Free Press, Acha is now trying to charge the woman with a hate crime for spewing anti-Muslim rhetoric during a physical assault. 1. The Case of the Two Karens the case of the two Karens is a little different and a little strange. It started years ago in 2013 when a woman named Karen Y. Clark had her identity stolen by another woman named Karen A. Clark. Karen A. convinced Karen Y. to hand over her personal information to help build her credit score. But instead of doing that, Karen A. used that information to rent an apartment and to commit financial crimes throughout Missouri. You could call Karen A. Clark the ultimate Karen, a truly slimy human being. She used the information from the other Karen to steal money, to commit fraud, to commit forgery, and to rob her former employer of about $30,000. Instead of helping to boost Karen Y's credit score, she ran it into the ground. She took out as many loans as she possibly could, rented places and trashed them, and was just generally awful for eight long years. It wasn't until 2021 that police finally picked her up and charged Karen A. with identity theft. The police were able to identify at least seven aliases that she used throughout her life as an identity thief. She went by names like Karen Ann Kendall, Karen Lavinia Clark, and Karen Vinewald. She may have been a clever con artist, but she couldn't seem to come up with any better names than Karen. Would you rather have a reputation for being a tantrum-throwing diva who lacks self-control in general, or for engaging in petty competition with the exes of everyone you date, even when they don't pose a threat to your relationship? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.